morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's your brother, Brother Godwin, who is about to share with you God's word in Jesus' name. Let's have a word of prayer. Father Lord, thank you very much. Give us your word, give us your understanding through your light to our heart in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Today, I'll take you to a very exciting um, scriptures that I hope most of us do read it often and often. But today, by the grace of God, we'll be dealing deep into this particular scriptures for you to see another level or another light of this scripture in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Do you know that in the very beginning, blood shedding was forbidden, either being of an animal or a human? And the only two creatures that were then, that were there by then, uh, was only Adam and Eve. So meaning, if I'm talking about bloodshed, and it's not only for human, but also for animals. Somebody may also ask this kind of question. But Brother Godwin, people sacrifice animals to God, and God will accept it. Yes, it is so. But we go deep into the scriptures and you know the reason why it was forbidden. But now it seems we also kill animals, we eat, we sacrifice. But in the very beginning, it was not so. You know, the Pharisees were trying to tempt Jesus Christ on the act of divorce. So when it came in Matthew chapter 19, from verse 3 down all, Jesus told them that it was not so in the beginning that... Uh, you will give a divorce letter to your wife based on some certain things in the Bible. But it's because of the people that the Lord gave the Lord Moses to give to the people. So we have to return to the beginning of the beginning to know what is the actual truth of our Lord Jesus. We will move very fast to our first scripture, which is in Genesis chapter 1, the very creation of uh, sorry, chapter, yes, chapter 1, the very creation of human. And let's take a very good look at the commands of God. A very good look at the commands of God. And I will read, and I will read, and I will read, and I will read. So be with me as uh, we read the scriptures. Genesis chapter 1, verse uh, 28 downwards. And I read, And God blessed them, and God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. We have to take a very close look at this word. Dominion is not to destroy, to have dominion over something doesn't mean you have to destroy it. You are only a caretaker of the thing. So you a king and eat domain. The king look after his domain. He doesn't kill them, doesn't destroy them. So the first commandment that the Lord gave to man is to replenish and to have dominion over everything that the Lord created. Meaning man was given the ultimate authority to rule over the, 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 the things that the Lord created. Now let's go to the second aspect, which is for man. Verse 29 says, And God said, Behold, I have given you help bearing seed, help bearing seed, which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of the tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. To you it shall be for me. Meaning everything that the Lord is telling them to eat is only helps for meat, helps for meat, helps for me. So they eat fruit, herbs, vegetables, everything, but they are not allowed to touch any life. Know that in Leviticus, the Bible made it clear that the life of every creature is in the blood. So it is forbidden for some creature to take away a creature. I know you'll be thinking much, then what food was the lion eating then? What food was the leopard eating then? What food was the wild animals then? Okay, I'll tell you the truth. It's very simple. They are all to eat the herbs. It's amazing, right? But you go great. Now let's go to verse 30. This is where God is referring to now the wild beasts and animals with their food to eat also. Let's take a look at it. Verse 30 says, And to every beast of the earth, 
and to every fowl of the air, and to everything that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life. I have given every green hell for meat. It was also. So they are also giving the same food as we, and they are to eat herbs. Wow, this is getting amazing. Do you know that there are some people here on earth that are still vegetarians? This is to prove to us that the existence of man from the beginning still needs to exist now. I'm not saying we shouldn't eat meat, but I'm just trying to tell you that what was in the beginning before and what brought about all these things. We will go also to it. They are vegetarians, they don't eat meat, they don't eat anything apart from herbs. And their system adjusts to it. They accept it. Some wish to be vegetarians, or some are vegetarians naturally, meaning God is still preserving some people to prove that in the early beginning, no one was allowed to take a life of a creature. Hallelujah. Now, why do we have wild animals, calm animals, herbivorous, carnivorous, and also many animals? One thing happened. What happened before this was destroyed is because of the sin that came to man. Know that in Genesis chapter 2, sorry, chapter 3, we are reading from verse 14 downwards. It says something. Let's take a very close look at this. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly thou shalt go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Verse 15 says, I will put enmity between you, between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. He shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his head. Now, this is where the real problem starts. Anytime God comes with a judgment, there's always a division. Just like if you go to court and you are to be judged, you are either going to be innocent or you are, you are going to be guilty. And if you are guilty, there is separation. You will put behind bars, but if you are innocent, you will be free. So anytime there is judgment, there is separation. Now, this is where we realize that the first division came through sin. So now there is no more peace between man and snake anymore. So all this sin creep into other animals. Therefore, if I am a lion, there is now survival of the fetus. So the strong ones are now gaining power over the calm ones and they are devouring them. That this is where we got wild animals from from the very beginning of creation. At first, they were all at one place. We didn't hear of any chaos. We didn't hear of any... Uh, any disunity among them. They were all at one place, living the peace on, on, until sin came to, 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 uh, sin came to being and sin creeped into the very animals and now we have wild animals and we have calm animals. So now animals also have the liberty to share blood. Know that the Bible said that the day they shall eat of this fruit, they will surely die. So they died and what really happened something which up to now we are still having some of the consequences so this is where blood shedding started from animals were sharing blood and we also saw that Cain and Abel also there was something like that why because sin crept into the heart of man what did man Realize that I can kill his brother. It all started after sin crept into the heart of men. And even went far away into the animals. And today we have wild animals and we have become animals. Therefore, a tiger and a lion and a leopard can no more live peacefully with the lamb, with the rabbit, with the goat because of the division. But glory be to God. Do you know that one day there will be a restoration and that restoration will come and bring back what was in the beginning? Yes, it was a prophecy prophesied by the prophet Isaiah in Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1. Everything will go back to its normality. Glory be to God for his great and merciful 
this for us. Isaiah 11 from verse 5, we read this. And righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins, and faithfulness the girdle of his rings. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the king. Which is not possible today, because there is a division, there is a sin. But a day is coming whereby sin will be arrested, and then you go back to the heart of God, whereby everything will be in peace. Every creature will be at peace with each other. Because righteousness will be the Agedels, the Lord will reign, and everything is going to be perfect. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me continue. Um, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. So this was what was happening. Or this was what happened um, in the very beginning of creation. The lion was eating straw. The lion was a herbivorous animal. But today is no more. But a day is coming where our Lord will restore back the peace of this world. And we will all be at peace with each other. The division we see on this earth will be no more. Because the Lord will be the righteous God. Glory be to Jesus for this revelation. Know that... Uh, a day is coming whereby God will bring back what was in the beginning. But because of the corruptful nature of man, some things that the Lord destined to be has changed, but they will be restored back in the day of restoration. God bless you and have a blessed morning, blessed afternoon, and blessed evening. In Jesus' name, Amen.